For many automation scenarios, answering the question, have we seen this item of data before, is imperative to implementing business logic. A classic example would be when you don't have some sort of event-based trigger, so you have no on new contact created action. So instead, you would typically do a poll-based approach where every period of time, let's say every hour, you fetch a collection of records, a get many operation, for example, and then you handle deduplication, which is where you're identifying basically whether you've seen this item before, whether you've processed it before, whether it's unique and new or not. That's been possible to do in NNN for years, but the deduplication part had to be home rolled. That is, you had to bring your own data store, for example, Postgres database, and implement that logic yourself. Thankfully, the NNN team has made that much, much easier with the new Remove Duplicates node, which in short handles the majority of deduplication use cases in an automation context and has some related actions that help you identify whether an item is unique or whether you've seen it before. Let's take a look. So in this scenario, I'm fetching articles from Hacker News. So if I run this workflow, I can see that I'm outputting 10 news articles. It's because I've got a limit set for now. And what I'd like to do in my use case is never double process an item. So if this workflow has seen that item before, I don't want to see it again, or I don't want to process it again. So to do that, we can click the plus button here, which opens the notes panel. And in here in the data transformation section, we can find the new remove duplicates functionality. And then in here, we're going to want to choose the remove items processed in previous executions. There's a few other actions available. We'll go over those in a moment. So I'll click to add that. How this node works is there's the operation, which we just picked. In keep items where, this is where we can decide under what conditions we keep or, or filter out the items that are coming into this node. So for this case, we want to make sure we never run an item twice. For here, we're going to rock the default, which is value is new. Those are a few other options. For example, value is higher than any previous value. This is super helpful if you have an incrementing DB. So it might be that you've seen item 20 before, but you haven't seen item 21 and 22. But if item 25 comes in, that's the latest item because you know that because you've chronological IDs. And then here's one where you can work with date values. So how this functionality works is for each new item coming in, you define the value to dedupe on. That gets saved to a database under the hood in NAN. Each time it sees a new value to dedupe on, it checks it across this database to know if it's seen it before. So an ID, a unique ID, a UUID, these are the types of values you would typically put in here, but you could also combine multiple values. So let's collapse some of this other information here and look in this Hacker News article and find some sort of unique ID. So here, object ID is that unique ID. So I can actually just drag and drop that on here. This sets an NNN expression, and for each incoming item, so there's 10 items coming in, it'll set the, the ID there. There's also a few different options available. One of the main ones I'm gonna call out is the scope. So right now, the default scope is at a node level. What this means is that this specific node maintains its own data store of what it's seen before. So if I have another remove duplicates node in the workflow, those will be disconnected and it won't know its source of truth. We can also set a workflow level uh, deduplication, which is what I'm gonna do in this case, because at my workflow level, I only have a need for one dedupe step in my flow. So I'm gonna set the scope to workflow. There's also a history size option. Its default is 10,000. So what this means is that the data store under the hood will keep up to 10,000 items before you need to clear those. Now there is an action to clear the deduplication history Okay, so I've got my options set, I've got my value to dedupe on. Let's run this workflow. As expected, I have 10 items going out the kept branch and zero going out the discarded branch because these are all new items that I've never seen before. We can look in the canvas and we can see that we've got 10 items going out the kept branch. Now I'm just gonna add a no op node and this is simply so we can help visualize this. Now let's run it again. Since we're running this a second time, I can see those 10 items are now all in the discarded output here. And that makes sense because we just ran this once, we added those object IDs to our data store. And so when we ran it again, we've already seen those items. Now we can test that by going into the Hacker News node. And let's say let's increase this limit. Let's actually fetch 15 articles. So now when I run remove duplicates, we can see that only five items are coming out because those 10 that I already saw got discarded and then there's the five that we keep. So that's how we handle a very classic deduplication case. There's a few other actions and modes in the node, but they all sort of work with the same premise and concepts that I just showed you. And just to quickly call those out, so we've got remove items processed in previous executions, the one we just did. There's remove items repeated within current input. So that's very similar, but what it's basically doing is taking all these input items and making sure there's no duplicates. So that could be really useful if you're, let's say, ingesting a database that 
did not have good deduplication strategies and it does have duplicates. And when you're comparing, you can compare all fields. So it has to be an exact match to be a duplicate, or you could remove certain fields or just compare by uh, certain specific fields. So here, if I just wanted to compare by title, I could drag that in here. Now, what's happening here, you'll see, is we haven't mapped an expression. It's just expecting the name of this key here, but NNN is going to handle that under the hood for you. So you can just always drag and drop and NNN will pick the right format to insert in here. So now in the rest of the workflow, you know that you have unique items that you've never seen. You can assume that in your logic and you can continue with unique items, doing whatever you need to them, loading them somewhere, updating them, etc. This is a new node in N8N. There's definitely more functionality to be added, and that happens based on your feedback. So once you get a chance to check out the node, if you have any product requests or feedback to the N8N team, head to community.n8n.io. Happy flowgramming.